and welcome to English Composition 2. My name is Elizabeth McWinnie and I am an instructional designer for Columbia Southern University. I designed this course with professors Dr. Renee Reynolds and Dr. John Willey. This course was designed along with English Composition 1 to be an integrated learning resource course. In other words, it would not have a textbook. Because we were not providing or requiring a textbook, we thought it was incredibly important that our design be engaging, interactive, and well-organized. The course as a whole has many well-designed elements that you can find in any CSU course, such as the Start Here checklist, announcements, professor profile, professor welcome video, and interactive syllabus. Let's jump into a unit to see where we designed elements specifically for this course. You will see that we created a video for this course whose purpose was not just to welcome students to the course, but to explain the structure of the course to help them be as successful as possible. This screenshot from the big picture video shows how the professor is going to walk students through the elements of the course and highlight each item. The big picture she is getting across to students is that the whole point of this course is to teach students how to write academic papers for all of the courses at the school, and this course will ask them to write one paper, working on it a section at a time. Course content is chunked into many lessons, focusing on one main concept of the academic paper or the writing process itself. Let's take Unit 2 for example. Most courses expect students to know how to do basic research skills. This course breaks down the elements of research to really help the students learn how to choose a topic and refine it. Find reliable resources. Find variety and hunt down leads. And discover a topic through doing the research. And so on. Let's go into a lesson. Students can navigate with the back and next buttons, the play controls at the bottom of the screen, and the table of contents that they can pull over from the left. They can also navigate with their keyboard as all buttons have tab control and are ordered for the most logical sequence to get through a slide. Whenever a student needs to click on a button on the screen, for more information, they are given a message at the bottom of the screen that lets them know to do this. Many of the lessons provide check for understanding questions. They are given feedback on their responses, whether they were right or wrong so that it is another opportunity to learn about the concepts that were taught. The lessons all also provide review slides, just to engage the students with the main ideas one more time. All units come with a lesson on grammar and style. The course does not require students to diagram sentences or run through a lot of grammar exercises for a grade. At the college level and for non-English majors, we felt the appropriate method for assessing students' grammar and writing style was through their writing. So the grammar lessons give them content to practice on and review as non-graded activities. Videos were created by Drs. Reynolds and Willie to help further explain challenging concepts. All of the videos come with full transcripts, as do the lesson presentations themselves. Finally, I want to show you some of the resources that were provided to help students 
be as successful as possible with their assignments. Along with detailed instructions, students are given examples of the assignments, either created by the professor or by students with permission. Some of the examples come with helpful comments to help students know exactly what they are looking at in the example. These are all just some of the features of this course's design that I believe makes this an exemplary course.